December 30th, Reno Wrestle Factory presents Wrestle Rock, Eve of Destruction. Live from the underground, 555 East 4th Street in Reno. A night of hard-hitting pro wrestling action and punk rock music featuring Los Pistoleros and the Flesh Hammers. Be there to see all the stars of RWF and witness the RWF debut of former WWE superstar, the Vampire Warrior Gang Grell. Due to the brutal nature of this event, you must be 21 or over to attend. All tickets are only $5 and you can pre-order by going to RenoWrestleFactory.com. For more information, go to RenoUnderground.com or RenoWrestleFactory.com. Wrestle Rock, Eve of Destruction. My name's Sir Samurai, but each and one, every one of you already knows that. The young lady behind me giving me the massage is Savannah Riley. She's watching my back because we are in Reno after all, and bad things happen in Reno. Tonight, a young man named Will Rude is looking to make a name for himself in West Coast Wrestling. He's a young guy, he's been around, he's working hard, but he hasn't actually beaten anyone. And for some reason, he thinks tonight is going to be his first victory over Sir Samurai. I appreciate the kid's testicular guts, but the reality is you're not making your name off of me, kid. Maybe next time. Savannah, anything you'd like to add? Your two cents? Uh, I'm Savannah Riley and Will Rude. You don't have a chance against Sir Samurai, so She's too right. bad. <laughs> so sad. Welcome, wrestling fans, to another edition of the Biggest Little Wrestling Show. The only stop for real professional wrestling action here in the state of Nevada. I am Bruce Fisher alongside the greatest ring color commentator in history, Mr. John Billington. And here we go, Sir Samurai coming down to the ring. And, um, well, I don't know. That is Savannah Riley, his beautiful valet, who accompanies him to ringside and everywhere he, he, he goes on his business meetings. Savannah Riley, definitely one of the most beautiful women in professional wrestling. Well, thank you there, John. I was just scrambling through my notes for her name. I never got a chance to meet her. She wouldn't, I mean, she wouldn't even speak to me at the show. I tried to get info for her, but she totally ignored me. I'm used to that with women. Well, that's because you have, you, you can't even compare to the amount of man that Samurai is because you're a twerp. Well, I heard that she acts as his bodyguard. Well, I cannot confirm or deny that, but she accompanies Sir Samurai everywhere he goes. He's doing something right, because if I had a girl like that, and I've had me many beautiful women in my life, but if I had a woman like Savannah Riley, I would treat her like a British queen. Well, that's something me and you agree on there, John. That's probably the nicest thing I've heard you say about a human being. Well, because she's a beautiful person inside and out. But his opponent here is Will Rude, a guy that it, it just rubs me the wrong way. Will Rude, he's been up and coming here, still hasn't got his first victory here in the RWF, but the fans have been rallying behind him, coming a little closer and closer each match. But uh, 
He came up short against Malachi last time I believe we saw him, and that's a tough opponent. Well, of course it is. Malachi almost destroyed him. He almost murdered him. We almost had a dead body in the ring in, in, here in, in this piece of crop town. Of, where are we at? We're in Reno, Nevada. That's Nevada. Oh, whatever, however you say it. I'm from Britain. Excuse me if my English is too advanced for you or these idiot people who watch this television show. This is another challenge for Will Rude, though. Sir Samurai is no easy competitor, especially with the distraction of Savannah Riley at ringside. Let's see if Will Rude can keep his mind in the match here. What I'd like to know is where did we get such a huge gargantuan referee? He, he, he's, like, he's like a 300-pound fat white guy. Well, you know, some people can't fulfill their dreams of stepping in the ring, and then, you know, they go for a referee position. This guy waddles in the ring. Oh, enough about the referee. He's got to do his job and get Savannah Riley out of here and get this match started. You know, I bet if he reaches in his pocket, he's probably got a candy bar. He could probably give it to her. Well, come on, John. I mean, let's just go to the action here. These fans, they're behind Will Rude, and they do not like Sir Samurai. No, they should sure don't because they cannot appreciate uh, a, a tremendous athlete like Sir Samurai. The men's got tremendous stamina and huge testicular fortitude. He's a definite veteran in there. Watch as he ties Will Rude into a human pretzel. Well, that remains to be seen here, John. The fans rallying behind. They, he is not their favorite, for sure. I think the fans here are going to be behind Will Rude. I can tell you what, Bruce. It's not going to get in the head of Sir Samurai one bit. Well, there's a, the, 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 the lockup. <laughs> Sorry, fans. A little, little fluttered here. Go behind by Sir Samurai. A reversal. Actually, that's Will Rude. No, that was a standing switch by... Anyways, shut up, John. Here we go. Perfect mat wrestling by Sir Samurai. Obviously an expert in catch, as catch can wrestling. Trained all over the world. Watch his, what, just, just keep your eye on Sir Samurai, Bruce. Keep your eye off Savannah, because if she catches you looking at her rear end again, you're going to get slapped in the face. I'll take a note on that there, John. There we go, Will Rude getting those fans into it. Now we got a hot crowd here tonight, fans. There's a scum fan there. You see that mohawk in the front row? Well, of course I did. How could you miss these idiots? A lock up by the two competitors here. We got a top this lock by Sir, oh, Sir Samurai going into a hammer lock here. Right back to, to the head of Will Rude. Execution of moves is so easy for Sir Samurai. Oh, and it's a tight headlock there by Sir Samurai. Will Rude's trying to look for an escape here from the headlock. Takes it into a top wrist lock here. Will Rude now, oh, he's got a good maneuver there. Sir Samurai getting to the ropes like a true ring veteran would. That's right, perfect example of ring positioning right there, Bruce. Obviously, Sir Samurai knows his way around this squared circle better than anyone. Better than well, anyone, huh? Better than Timothy Thatcher? Well, you know, that's, that's, uh, I might be speaking a little harshly. Oh, that pinfall here. Oh, didn't even get a one, but a good maneuver there by Samurai using his head. He's, don't turn his back on Will Rude there. Big arm drag by Will Rude. Almost. Oh, God. And he's got him locked in tight. Samurai once again on the ropes. Referees calling for the break. Samurai looks like a. Will Rude's getting under his skin a little. No, of course not. He, he was just turning his back to him again. So Will Rude with another deep arm drag here. And once again, Sir Samurai gets out of the ring. He wants no part of Will Rude right now. Well, all he wanted to do was get outside and be with his beautiful valet, Savannah Riley. And quite frankly, I cannot blame him. I, I can't blame him either. I'd like to spend some time with his valet as well, John. Well, I bet you would, but you, never in your life will you get a woman as beautiful as Savannah. Well, I know my schedule is a little tight right now, and I'm kind of married to the sport of wrestling in my profession right now, but, you know, how do you know I can't get a lady? Well, if you could get off the, the world of Warcraft or whatever it is you do in your free time, you might be able to, to, to nail a skank or two. I'm not interested in skanks. Let's get, let, let's get back to the wrestling action here. Sir Samurai 
stepping back into the ring. Looks a little afraid to get in there with Will Root. I wouldn't say afraid, but he definitely he would he would definitely not like to uh, to to break a sweat. He's already told me he's planned an exciting dinner date, and he'd like to get to that meal as quick as he can. A dinner date, huh? Well, <laughs> well, let's hope he uh, does. <laughs> Again, you've shown that you know nothing about dating. That's what people do. They go out uh, to... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God! Are you saying that he's dating Savannah Riley, John? I wouldn't say that, but he's got a date. Well, it looks like he wants to get to that date. He's trying to make short work of Will Rue right here. He's got them all tangled up in the ropes. Defenseless here. And, oh, and a club right across the chest to Will Rude. Referee's got to break that up. He's using the ropes. It's an illegal maneuver, John. Well, you know, when you're a veteran, like, so look at that. Look at the yes, look at that. That's an illegal maneuver, John. Oh, it's illegal, but it's only illegal if you get caught. That's for sure. And Semi's foot was on the rope there. I don't even think the referee saw that. Well, with, I don't think he can see past his belly. Well, he's trying his best here, I guess. Uh, it's hard to be in the ring, and I'm not going to take away uh, his abilities to referee. I don't think I could do that job, John. Oh, me neither. You know, the ref might have a heart attack here. We got some medical training. Look at Samurai. So proud of himself here, of all the illegal maneuvers he's been accomplishing tonight. Well, like I said, it's only illegal if you get disqualified. And look at this strength right here as he perfectly executes a suplex right in the center of the ring. Yes, I will admit that was a very well executed suplex by Sir Samurai. Will Rude here in a tough predicament. Sir Samurai whips him off, whips him off the ropes here. Goes for the back oh. up and a sunset flip by Will Rude here. Sir Samurai's reaching for the ropes. Oh, and a counter. Nice maneuver there by Sir Samurai right into a submission hold. Combination. Crippler cross face. Million dollar dream of some. Oh, nice counter. Almost a pinfall. But Sir Samurai still holds on to the maneuver. How do you get to the ropes when you have no hands, John? That's a testament to both of the athleticism of, of all of our competitors here in Reno Wrestle Factory. You never know which way the match can turn at a moment's notice. Just rubbing his face into the mat there, trying to make mockery of Will Rude. Of course he's mocking Will Rude. Will Rude's got no business in the ring with a guy like Sir Samurai. I don't know about that. He seems to be holding his own, and he hasn't given up yet, John. Just because he's breathing doesn't mean he ain't dead. Big oh, back. look at that devastating move by Sir Samurai. Yes, a great big back elbow by Sir Samurai. Will Root is down and, oh, taunting the crowd. Look at those guns, Bruce. Have you ever seen pythons like that on a man like Sir Samurai? Well, he's got me beat in the python uh, category here. Whips Will Root off the ropes. Big clothesline by Sir Samurai, and Sir Samurai is in control of this match, and he knows it. He is taunting the crowd. The eyes have rolled back in their head of Will Rude. He is definitely out of his element. The beautiful Savannah Riley is excited and thrilled by her man. I want to count Will Rude out. I've seen him take twice the beating from Malachi and kept fighting. Here Will Rude with a oh. big standing drop kick. Will Rude's... There we go. Will Rude a big forearm. Another. Three. One. Putting Sir Samurai into the corner. Whips him off the ropes. And a big hip toss oh. by Will Rude. There we go. I told you Will Rude had some fight, John. And now, calling to go. And a big fist drop by Will Rude. Perfectly executed, John. Almost co going for a cover. The fight in Sir Samurai cannot be measured. And Will Rude is now in control. This match, a big European uppercut. About to whip Sir Samurai off the ropes. And oh, and a spine buster by Will Rude. He's got to pin him here, John. Did you see the oxygen? Oh, look at Savannah. She got it. Referee's got to get her down. She has no business being on top of the ring apron right here. Go for the pinfall here. One. Oh, no. Sir Samurai, too much time. Too much intelligence by Sir Samurai. Look, I said he knows where he's at in that ring at all times. Oh, watch out. Sends his head to the turnbuckle here. We're rude. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, he takes his, <laughs> Sir Samurai, he's rocked here. 
I'm, I'm speechless. Oh, Will Rude going up top here. Probably the second. Is this a fist drop, perhaps? Oh, and a big elbow right across the sternum. He did, he did hit that move right on the button. And I think he failed to make a pinfall. I think that's a big mistake by Will Rude. Setting him up for something here. You're right. He, you know, he definitely, that just shows the rookie. Mo oh. Oh. And Sir Samurai is down. Savannah Riley's now entered the ring. Not like what she said. Oh, she just slapped him. Come on, referee. That's a disqualification. She, he can't put his hands on that woman. <laughs> what, John? She just smacked him across the face. That should be an automatic disqualification. No, she's beautiful. She can do whatever she wants. This wants. referee has lost control of this match here. Uh-oh, Sir Samurai. TSC, the beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh, my. That took him out right there. The TSC, as Sir Samurai calls it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think Will Rue got robbed here. That should have been a disqualification. The twisting Sabuki cutter, the, the patented move by Sir Samurai has annihilated Will Rue. Someone get a stretcher out here for that young boy. Well, I don't agree with the referee's uh, decision he made. I think it should have been a disqualification. But, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Sir Samurai, with his valet, Savannah Riley, I think she uh, played a big part in his victory here tonight. She may have. She, you know, the, the knee pads certainly came in good use. Well, fans, st stay tuned for more wrestling action here. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hey, this is Big Country, Jody Christofferson, and you're watching The Biggest Little Wrestling Show. You love wrestling. You've always wanted to be a part of it. But you just don't know where to start. It doesn't just have to be a dream anymore. You can do more than just watch wrestling. You can be wrestling. There's only one reputable wrestling school in Northern Nevada, and that school is the Reno Wrestle Factory. So get off your couch and give Reno Wrestle Factory a call and start living your dream today. This is Dylan Drake in the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada, and you're watching Reno Wrestle Factory, the biggest little wrestling show. Welcome back, wrestling fans. We got more action right here on the biggest little wrestling show. And I'm still a little upset about uh, Will Rude. Uh, getting cheated out of that match John well let me get you a towel so you can wipe the tears from your face and here comes D Torch we, this is a second appearance here on the biggest little wrestling show we saw him team with Mike Rain against the Bad Apples and he took uh, quite the beating from the Bad Apples such an entertaining competitor to watch D Torch a very exciting wrestler here in the RWF just don't give him a microphone all right, I don't know. D Torch, I haven't seen much of him, but I know he will put his body on the line to win a match and make an impression here at the RWF. He's like, he's, he's exciting. He's like a freight train in a fart all mixed together. And you know that song, John. Born in the USA, that means one thing, Jody Kristofferson. That's right. You know, when I hear that song, it makes me want to punch a puppy right in the face. Come on, John, a puppy? I hear that song and I get chills in my body of pride well it's because you live here and you're, you're, you're a worm just like all these american fans you know when when every time i i hear this song it makes me want to take a cup of tea and drizzle it on a young girl on a young girl how does it make much just disgusted by joey christopherson his family name his stupid cowboy hat his stupid beard, his, he's just, he's a moron. A mor you better hope that he doesn't hear you say that. I think he'd smack you right across the face, John. You know, Jody Kristofferson's a great young competitor here, like a big bull. And uh, on March 27th at the Evelyn Mount Community Center, you're going to see him and Malachi lock horns. Two bulls going at it. Fans, you don't want to miss that one. Make sure you come out to the Evelyn Mount Community Center March 27th to see Malachi face that man in the ring, big country, Jody Kristofferson. He's going to cross on pile driver him right through the mark. What's that? Jody Kristofferson's going to use Malachi's maneuver on him? 
No, of course not, you twit. Malakai is going to break the face and neck and bones of Joey Christopherson at the Evelyn Mount. Well, that's a bold statement there. Well, not too bold. Malachi is the 21st century killing machine and has been on a roll here lately. Look at this. Big Country doing some technical wrestling there. You know, hopefully one of these guys is going to snap and stop wailing on the other one so I have something interesting to commentate. Well, I don't know what Detorch is going to have to do to beat Big Country Jody Christofferson here. He's outweighed. Uh, experience goes to Jody Christofferson as well. Um... You know, I bet if you gave him a math test, Joey wouldn't pass it. Well, I don't know for sure on the facts of uh, his math skills, but he's one heck of a competitor when it comes to stepping in the ring, and he's got all heart. He's got all rocks in his brain as well. Well, sometimes uh, you don't always need brains to, to uh, prevail in the wrestling ring. Heart can go a lot of ways, and a long ways, fans, and uh, he's definitely got the support of the fans as well. But he doesn't have my support, and my support goes a long way. Have you checked my Facebook at all? I've never seen your Facebook, John. Uh, I also wouldn't have you as a friend on my Facebook as well. Why would you say that? How could you? I have 3,000 friends. Because week after week, you insult me. Well, you know, don't take it personally. I don't like anyone. I don't take it personally. This is purely profession here. Well, you should take it personally because I was being nice. I really don't like you. Well, that, that feeling's mutual, John. Let's just do our job here and call the action. Uh, looks like Detorch here has got an armbar of sorts on Big Country. Just pure power to get out of it there. Nice picks him up and slams him. There's the strength of Jody Christofferson. Well, he's got to be strong because he sure ain't smart. But one thing to remember, Bruce, is Detorch ain't Malachi. That is true, he is not Malachi. He probably weighs about as much as Malachi's left leg. I defecate bigger than D-Torch. Wow, that's a bold statement there. Um, you might want to keep that to yourself there, John. Oh, an impressive maneuver, head scissor takeover yeah. by D-Torch. Ducks the close on by Jenny Christopherson. He's got to use that speed here. Oh, and a crucifix pin here. One. Only a one count, though. Jody Christopherson. Thrown off by Detorch's speed there, and that's what Detorch has got to do. He's got to use his speed here if he wants to defeat that big bull in the ring, big country Jody Christofferson. I'm thrown off by Detorch's hair. Oh, it's two standing drop kicks there. Got big country in the corner, and oh, there's a clothesline by Detorch. Oh, and a big kick to the back of the head. He's got big country rolling here. Springboard oh. blockbuster. Didn't fully connect, but let's... Oh, he sure went for the pit. Oh, he's going for the pit for one, two, and a kick out. Oh, looks like it uh, dazed Jody Christofferson a bit there. Like I said, D-Torch, exciting to watch, but not too intelligent. Big Country just uses power to take over in this match. Whips D-Torch off the ropes here. And a big sidewalk slam followed by a cover here. One, two, almost a three count by Big Country Jody Christofferson. You know, every time D-Torch puts a meal away, he looks like a pregnant 15-year-old girl who dropped out of Hug High School. And Big Country using those big tree trunk legs to squeeze the life out of D-Torch here. Possibly trying to make him submit here, just wearing him down to set up for a power maneuver. You know, just as I make a reference to the physique of D-Torch, Jody wraps his tree-like limbs around this small torso of D-Torch, you know. Both these competitors are, are doing an excellent job here on the biggest little wrestling show. Aren't I doing a fabulous job, Bruce? Yeah, you're doing great there, John. You just missed it. Oh, one, two, and going for the pin here. D-Torch fighting back. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Just a numerous blows to the head on Jody Christofferson. He's trying to block him, though. That's all it takes in this game. You make one little move and the match can be over. Oh, a big country just powering him into a bear hug here. Dead center in the ring. Well, Detroit won't quit. You got to give him that. He hasn't given up yet. Well, he doesn't have the brains to quit. I would have left five minutes ago. Uh, oh. Big maneuver by Jody Christofferson. Another close fall there. Almost a three count there. 
And uh, you just got you got the sense that Jody Christofferson is just going to set him up here to end it. You know, sometimes his speed can be a disadvantage. Detorch went to the ropes so quick. He didn't see that elbow that he just ate from Joey Christofferson. When I see guys like Detorch and I give him all the props in the world that he steps in there and tries to to wrestle here with Jody Christofferson, it's something I could not do, John. Well, you know, you can't do much. You know, I've seen you mess up a cup of coffee. I'm not very good at making coffee. Not a big fan of coffee. I like energy drinks. Well, uh, you know, to, to each his own. Nice drop kick. Pinball one. Only a one count on Jody Christofferson here. Yeah, it's going to take two of D Torch's weight to pin a guy like Joey. And a DDT by Jody Christofferson. That's probably it, fans. I don't think Detorch is getting up from that. He dropped his head straight through the mat. And here he's picking him up, setting him up for... Going to punish him. And a, and a look at that gorilla press there by Jody Christofferson. Just holding him up there. Oh, he's such a... Show. Just tosses him like he's a nothing, like a rag doll. Like a rag doll. You stole my line, Bruce. I stole... I'm sorry about that, John. I didn't know it was your line. That's my line. And oh, oh. Detorch moves out of the way. What's this? Going for a big clothesline. Jody sends him over the top, lands on his feet. Big forearm there by Detorch. Shot to the midsection there. Another one. Setting him up for perhaps a sunset flip. Oh, Jody Christopherson just falls back. And look at this. Big oh. springboard leg drop by Detorch. It was a nice move. I'll give him that. One, two. Oh, surprising there. He almost had big country. And remember, I'm always right. You're always right. No, you're not, John. You're. Anyways, back to ripping. No, a reversal by Big Country. Setting him up. Oh, look at this. A big power slam. Oh, that's got to be it. That's got to be it. Oh, he doesn't pin him. Big Country did not go for the pinfall. He must be wanting to hit him with something else here. He's probably getting quite upset. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. Oh, oh he, out of the way. he just leapfrogged that football tackle here. He, he leapt out of the way to spear. Big cross by jaw. Jody just caught him like he was nothing. What's this? Into a full Nelson. Oh, a sit down full Nelson slam. One, two, three. That's it. Your winner, big country Jody Christofferson. You know, I said it from the beginning that Joey was going to take that match. But one thing to remember, and I'll say it again, that Detorch is not Malachi. Joey Christofferson on the 27th. You're going to have your hands full. He's going to have to be on his A game against Malachi, that's for sure. Fans, your winner, the big country, Jody Christofferson. I kind of called it myself. And look, here's a sign of respect for both competitors. Oh, how cute. You know, maybe these guys will go up with some ice cream later. Well, Detroit definitely had a lot of heart in that match. I didn't see. He got some close falls there. He almost had big country. You know, he might take out that referee from the first match. He, I know he likes ice cream. Well, fans, stay tuned. We got more wrestling action coming up after the break. Don't forget, March 27th, big country Jordy Christopherson will be fighting Malachi one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want to miss that one, fans. Stay tuned for more wrestling action. <laughs> this is a Mexican werewolf, El Chupacabra. And you are watching the biggest little wrestling show. <laughs> December 30th, Reno Wrestle Factory presents Wrestle Rock, Eve of Destruction. Live from the underground, 555 East 4th Street in Reno. A night of hard-hitting pro wrestling action and punk rock music featuring Los Pistoleros and the Flesh Hammers. Be there to see all the stars of RWF and witness the RWF debut of former WWE superstar, the Vampire Warrior Gangrel. Due to the brutal nature of this event, you must be 21 or over to attend. All tickets are only $5 and you can pre-order by going to RenoWrestleFactory.com. For more information, go to RenoUnderground.com or RenoWrestleFactory.com. Wrestle Rock, Eve of Destruction. It seems like everybody wants this kind of thing that's on this bandana. 
See, only Mustafa knows how to make that kind of money. Everybody else is wishing. Everybody else is hoping. Everybody else is trying to be obedient to something they don't even know what they're doing. But let me tell you something. Foreclosures and all that stuff don't wipe a lot of people out. Our ass, that's what I am. I rake in the dough. And let me tell you something. Anybody that put in the ring in front of me, I always demolish. And I'm going to tell you one thing. After I finish with the next opponent and the next opponent and the next opponent, you know what's going to happen. They're going to make health plans go up. <laughs> so I got you. Watch out. Mr. Mustafa is always here in the house. <laughs>Welcome back, wrestling fans. We hope you enjoyed that match from the vault. Uh, I remember sitting, well, I wasn't ringside. I was about fourth row back, and I just was in astonishment as a fan of that match. I'd never seen uh, wrestling like that before. I saw you. You were hammered drunk. I did have a few drinks that night there at uh, Stoney's back in 2007. Uh, the Reno Wrestle Factory has been around for many years here in Reno and we just decided to get our television show going here and uh, big things ever since if we can just get to the match up here Bruce this is the main event of the biggest little wrestling show this edition and that right there is the seven foot wrecking ball Paul Isidora that is a very impressive man you fans have seen him before uh, not many men have a victory over Paul Isadora. Very hard to even take off of his feet here, but uh, I think this man... I don't know of anyone that's beat him. Well, this could be the first time we've seen defeated because there is Mustafa Saeed, the ECW original and legend of the sport of wrestling. You know, I parked my car out front, and I bet he's already stood in my stereo. Come on, John. Mustafa Saeed, this is definitely a test for Isadora. These two giants in the ring here. Gonna do battle, fans. You got a treat here on the biggest little wrestling show. Well, here's the thing to think about, Bruce. You know, Mustafa has made his career as a tag team wrestler. Let's see how he fares against the singles competitor like Paul Isadora, who is a seven foot beast. Well, John, Mustafa's had. An impressive uh, singles career as well. Not a lot of fans know about. He was the IWC television champion down in Puerto Rico. I also remember seeing a great match down in Philadelphia. We had a, a Texas death match with Terry Funk and took the Funkster to the limit. Terry Funk, how old is Mustafa? I bet his first phone call was to Alexander Graham Bell. Come on, John. That's a little extreme, don't you think? And even if, how old is he, does it matter? Look at the physique that man is in. Definitely stays in shape. Well, uh, yeah, he's got to stay in, in shape with all the time he's done in prison. Oh, uh, I don't think Mustafa's actually ever done any time in prison. I, I don't think he's ever been uh, fully charged for some of the uh, criminal acts him and uh, New Jack used to perform back in the old ECW days. Well, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not a judge, you know. I got out of the law enforcement bracket a long time ago, so... I cannot comment on his criminal record, which I'm sure there is one. Oh, these two uh, giants are about to lock horns here. There is a big tie-up between the two. A test of strength. Mustafa just goes to a knee to the gut. And a big clubbing forearm across the back to Paul Zadora. A shot to the midsection. You know, I don't think we're going to see many, many wrestling moves in this matchup. Oh, this match is going to be definitely a lot of hitting. Oh, another one. Neither man gets knocked off their feet there. I don't think you're going to tackle a big guy. Look, look at that. Oh, a big boot. Mustafa just ate that one. Sends him to the outside of the ring. Mustafa went to the well one too many times and received, received a size 18 boot right to the face. I, that's larger than my head. Well, you, you know, you got nothing in your bean. That's why. Okay, let's see. Well, uh... Mustafa Saeed and Isadora didn't take long. They're not even staying in the ring here. You know, I don't think we've got an arena quite large enough to hold these guys. And you said it earlier, John. You're not going to see a lot of technical wrestling in this match or high flying. Just two men, I think, are going to be beating the heck out of each other. And the first one to fall 
will be the first one to fall. That's right, Breach. Oh, look at that nice forearm by Paul Isidora. Punched him right in the nose. Isidora just setting him up. A big clubbing forearm across the chest. That'll knock the wind out of any man. Must Mustafa just be choked here by Paul Isidora in the corner. Well, you can't blame him. I mean, the first move, the first move of the match was Mustafa kneeing Paul Isidora right to the groin. And a big shot to the jaw could have been the throat area by Mustafa Saeed, and he's just going right at the eyes. He can't do that. He's turned his eyeballs out of his head. I would hate to be referee Del Rey right here and have to tell these two giants to play by the rules here. Uh, how did he, Dale Ray even get in the building? He's our referee for the RWF, John. He looks like he's got a hair helmet. A hair helmet? Anyway, Anyways, John. Oh, a big oh. shot by Mustafa right to the dome of Paul Isadora here. And, an, oh, and Isadora blocked that one and just took Mustafa off his feet with one punch. One punch leveling Mustafa. Look at that. Follows up with some devastating stomps to the chest area of Mustafa Dick, making it even harder to breathe than it already is in his sweat box of a building. Fans, both of these competitors will be in action on the 27th of March, once again at the Evelyn Mount Community Center. Make sure you come out and see these two giants. Oh, the coconut headbutt again. And oh, watch out for that rock head he's got. Mustafa definitely does have a very solid head. You know, he's one of the harder heads in the wrestling business. Fans, uh, Will Rude has actually been taken under the wing lately by Mustafa Saeed, and he's been teaching him a thing or two about the world of wrestling. Well, Will Rude needed someone to show him how to drive his stick, and Mustafa was in. Oh! oh, he just sends Paul Isidore's arm right into that pole. That's definitely good strategy by the ring veteran Mustafa Saeed taking out the arm of Paul Isadora. Man, we really need to get some guardrail. That little Asian cameraman. Oh, setting him up. Go. Oh, and he moved out of the way. Mustafa just went right into that pole. You know, I've said it time and time again, Bruce. When steel meets flesh and bone, steel always wins. Have you noticed that huge fan? That huge girl with the blonde hair. She's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Oh, yes. She was the one who was absolutely in love with Shoop Shellhammer a few weeks ago. She, she's big enough to put Shoop in a pocket. Oh, come on, John. That, that's a little harsh there. You know, they're just wrestling fans. Let them be. Isadora is in control of this match after the mistake by Mustafa Saeed trying to shake off that uh, shot to the arm earlier. They remind me of monster truck fans. You know. They oh, oh, look at that. Big low blow. Referee down. I didn't even see it. I think he saw it. He's just, uh, I think he's a little too afraid to... Uh, DQ Mustafa Saeed. There's a problem with the referees here tonight on the Biggest Little Wrestling Show. Kind of letting a lot of things slip. Well, you know, with Mustafa's criminal record, I wouldn't uh, want to get involved with any type of it. Oh, look at this! He just slammed the giant! I think that's the first time I've seen the big man slammed. Going off the powers, Mustafa Saeed. Oh. And he missed the elbow drop. Oh, I've never seen a man slam Paul Isadora like that. See the grimace on his face. He, he's never been picked up like that before. He's surprised. He had the wind knocked right out of him. I don't think Paul Isadora's ever been in the ring with a competitor with quite the strength that Mustafa Saeed possesses here. Yeah, did, you know, you might be right about that, Bruce. You know, with a veteran like Mustafa, you've definitely got to, 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 to pull out all the stops Oh, and a big shoulder tackle sending Mustafa to the floor. That just shows you the size and strength difference. When Paul Isidora shoulder tackles you, you you go flying like a little... Oh, what's he doing? He's got the chair. Oh, my, just right across the esophagus of Mustafa Saeed. That shoulder tackle looked like a freight train running over a child. That's right. These guys on the outside back again all over the arena. At the Evelyn Mount. Oh, he's, oh. oh, right into the brick wall goes Paul Isidore's head, and those fans might want to get out of the way there. Look how stupid these fans are. You've got a seven foot guy, and, and Mustafa Saeed beating the snot out of each other, and these stupid, idiotic fans are just staring at him like a deer in here. Get out of the freaking way! Oh, my, those fans definitely are getting out of the way. I think I'm in love with that girl in the red sweater. Well, she is a looker. I've got to, to admit that. 
But if you just concentrate on this brute, you'll match Bruce. You'll be a professional. They're blowing all over the building here. Referee Del Rey's got to establish some order. This still is a, a regular. Oh, there we go. We've got a count out. I don't think these guys even care. No, they don't there, John. They're just beating the heck out of each other. Oh, reversal by Mustafa. Just sending Isadora to the ground. These two are beating the heck out of each other, fans. I think there might be a rematch scheduled on the 27th, perhaps. Make sure you go to my Facebook. They're brought outside the building. Get them back in here. Oh, piss off. 